environment is a dangerous thing. When it comes to invading, why would you put in effort to kill your opponents when you can just use gravity or the environmental hazards to do it for you? Suicide. That's why today we're looking at top 10 environment kills. I felt in the mood to make a bonus compilation this week, so here we go. So here I believe Sublimes was invading, since he has Mog's great rune, but he's invaded a cheating host who is literally riding a mosquito mount. A glorious sight to behold I must say, despite the uh, filthy cheating. Now this main academy gate location does feature an elevator, and we all know elevators are the wild card when it comes to invasions. When in doubt, try them out, that's what I always say. Well that was uplifting on so many levels, great to see elevators still not letting us down in 2022. Connor447 is invading a host positioned on top of the cliffs at the entrance to Kaelin, so he's pinned down behind this ruined wall at a huge height disadvantage. Until he uses the Phantom Bloody Finger item, invaders gain 3, each invasion automatically equipped to your item slots, and they were incredibly powerful in the beta, it had a really short casting time, you could repeatedly spam it to escape from ganks, it was like an instant teleport out of any bad situation. As you can see, that's changed a bit. It's really designed for situations like this, where you get a bad spawn in an open world section of geometry. The oldest trick in the book. Make the enemy think they have you trapped, pinned down under heavy fire, no way you can go, when in reality, it's nothing personal, kid. Agent of Death invades into a tricky situation in Kaelid with a summon that seems to be much more overpowered than he is. Still, the host is giving them space, so he attempts to fight the 1v1 as fairly as possible. That is until a blue ring hunter suddenly appears. He can't see a way out, so he impulsively sprints towards the cliff and makes use of Elden Ring's groundbreaking revolutionary jump button. <coughs> this gap requires a perfect textbook jump. He left it right to the last second. Great placement. Once again, very satisfying to see mastery of the surrounding environment giving him the victory. It's an aspect of play that's more important than ever in Elden Ring, and it's very underrated. Tiger Ronnie and his friend were standing off against an invader who kept hiding behind the level enemies, until the flame chariot decides that's not okay. Maybe because there's no seed of a giant tree item, a lot of enemies can hit the invader as well in Elden Ring, even if they don't target them directly. It's much more the case than in previous games. At number 6 we get to witness KG's favourite PvP moment so far, he's sent in, him and his buddy were exploring Lyurnia together and they'd reached the front gate of the academy when they became invaded. Here he is. See ya! Ha ha ha! Yes! That was awesome! <laughs> that was the incantation, aspects of the crucible, horns, which creates a mighty horn sprouting out from your shoulder, goring foes from a low stance like a rhino. And I'm sorry to point this out, but does anyone think he sounds a bit like Oroboro? See ya! Ha ha ha! Yes! <laughs> Oro is a friend of mine. Recently he's been the one helping me curate these top 10s, if you were wondering. But not this one, so he'll have a wonderful surprise when he watches, I'm sure. Crunchy Karate is invading Farum Azula, a place well known for its treacherous terrain. I 
I do kind of feel sorry for them, but if you're really going to posture up in front of a giant hole in the ground against an invader with the Huara Lu Earthshaker Ash of War equipped onto a plus 25 greatsword, then at that point the consequences are on you. Shout out to Gravity once again. And number four, we have a submission from Sir Ursa, which is quite the coincidence since Ursa means bear in Latin. Oh, well. Ursa was co oping in the overworld near the Black Knife catacombs when his friend died and was replaced by a surprise invader. Normally, this would result in a simple 1v1, but today, the dreaded rune bear, everyone's worst nightmare, decided to join in. Interestingly, although the rune bear is directly targeting the host, like the flame chariot from earlier, it's still possible for the invader to get caught in the crossfire. It becomes a delicate balancing act of kiting this wild beast around the rock features, hoping the invader makes a misstep and gets too close. Yes. Yes. Thank you, bear. Um, yes. The bear killed him. Well, it had to end somehow. This unbearable game of bear roulette finishes with the invader getting caught by the grab attack and viciously crushed while Sir Ursa makes his escape. You, I'm not there, so you can use the mount to win. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Adam Barker is working a 2v1 invasion, which also gets interrupted, this time by another scary enemy the Abductor Virgin, or the Iron Virgin. You'll see this is obviously not an environment kill for the host, but it is for the summon, and the timing is so comedic. both employing the universal gaming language of crouching. But the Iron Virgin is having none of this tomfoolery. If you get too close to one of these contraptions, first the front doors swing open, the snake arms inside unfold and snare you in. The interior is a torture chamber with metal snakes and red gas. Now Adam Barker survives this treatment somehow, but the summon does not. Nayar Lathodor is dueling with his friend, so he's invaded his friend, and then another random invader shows up, and for whatever reason, they decide to bully him with shields. Oh, please get the stopped. That would be cool. She got stopped for that action. No way, <laughs> I know for a fact everyone watching really wanted that to happen. Walking mausoleums are these giant stone turtle structures and they can step on you. Have you been stepped on by the walking mausoleums? Let us know in the comments so we can laugh at you. The number one submission is a little different this time, and that's because it's featuring an entire mechanic rather than just a single player. Over the months, I've been seeing something interesting. Players have been submitting a little something called boss invasions. In the past, it's never been possible to invade players who enter the boss fog door. Boss fights traditionally have been a PvP free zone. But it seems in Elden Ring, in rare cases, it's possible to invade just as the host is entering the boss without getting booted from the session. And then you can annoy the host from outside with ranged attacks. But still, at least the invader can't enter the actual boss room itself, right? Well, that's the thing. A lot of bosses in Elden Ring are different. They take place in wide spaces of the overworld, like the fire giant boss in the frozen mountain area. Not only that, some of them are instanced. For example, players are getting stuck outside the first phase of Renala, they can't cross the fog door, but then finding themselves warped into the second phase, which is an instanced fight in a separate location. 
Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> this does appear to be unintended because Renala clearly isn't loaded properly for the invader. She doesn't really move and it seems like most of her attacks are invisible from the invader's perspective. Clearly some desynchronization happening here. Yes! Let's go! What the hell? <laughs> Wait, what? He's actually fighting the boss. What? No way! Oh no, I'm gonna have to fight the... Oh my god, what? This is crazy! I'm gonna have to fight the NPCs! <laughs> oh my god! This is nuts! The most common boss invasion clip I get sent seems to be of Star Scourge Radan himself, found in the southern Wailing Dunes area of Kaelin. This sucks though, look at all the people I have to fight! Radan, save me, buddy! It should go without saying, this is crazy. This is crazy, man. If you're looking for maximum chaos, this is it. I mean, look what happened when Crabman invaded Radan. So yeah, in terms of environmental kills, it doesn't get any better than having a whole demigod boss finish your opponents for you really takes me back to the time in Dark Souls 3 where a tumble buff glitch was discovered that allowed players to force themselves into other players' boss fights as a mad phantom. Although that was much more of an intentional exploit, whereas this Elden Ring version just appears to be a rarer bug of some kind. Thanks everyone for watching and participating. No topic announcement for next time because I'm currently working on top 10 dungeon kills. Woo woo.